It's not the apocalypse or even a plague, but it's pretty close. Oh, sweet baby Lord Jesus. I'm a prisoner in my own home. Like something out of a Stephen King novel, the summer of creepy crawly is here. We just stay inside. We don't go outside. Out west, from Idaho to Utah to Nevada, it's the snap, crackle, and pop of summer 2023. These katydids, also known as Mormon crickets, have exploded with eggs that can lay dormant anywhere between 5 and 11 years, but now have hatched in mass. They will simply form a tsunami and roll across the landscape, devouring everything in sight. And this is what's underway right now. The big red bugs are everywhere and eat everything. Their migration's a natural phenomenon, and after a couple of months, they'll mate and die. But for now, this is a pile of dead Mormon crickets. Yeah, that is absolutely that is absolutely foul. Squish. Not to be outdone, from the mid-Atlantic and northeast to parts of the Midwest, spotted lanternflies, an invasive species, are back. Experts say they're harmless to people and pets, but they do pose a threat to several varieties of trees, orchards, hops, and grapes, and especially threaten the $170 billion U.S. wine industry. This is going to be a major headache for our grape growers, and fingers crossed they don't get to California and the Napa Valley. And as this summer of infestations continues, a portion of Broward County, Florida, has been placed under quarantine as state officials work to get rid of giant African land snails, which can grow up to eight inches in length and produce 500 eggs at a time. Beyond their ability to damage hundreds of different crops, the snails can also carry meningitis. I don't want anybody to get sick, and they do leave a slimy residue behind, so God forbid somebody doesn't know, and they touch somewhere where they've been crawling. Kawana Jones first started seeing the snails at her home months ago and posted these pictures to Facebook. The very first one that we saw in that tree over there was like the, like literally like your fist. The state came right away and she says extracted around 90 snails from the immediate area. A host of unwanted pests nationwide has Americans itching for some relief. This is disgusting on so many different levels. I mean, Sam, I don't uh, know if we're ever going to be the same again after we saw that uh, snail. Um, so what can people do to keep bugs like these away from their homes? Sure. So good question, Savannah. When it concerns lanternflies, the time to act is right now because they lay their eggs in September and October. So what you're going to want to do is get a pest spray technician to come out there and to spray all of your landscaping down. What they can do is actually inject, inject uh, insecticide into the tree. They can also seal the bark. The snails like damp wood and plaster. So you want to stay on top of maintenance around your house. And that fencing and sealing cracks can help to keep out crickets. Now, when it concerns the lanternflies, again, and the good news here is that nature does appear to be taking its course. They are developing natural predators, cutting down on the numbers. But you might say they're still a little bit out of hand for the time being. Oh, let's say so. Savannah, say Oda, so. Oh, back to you. Maybe those snails could go after oh. me. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, thank, thank you. you Sam. All it's right. taking a little while. Yeah. yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.